Our coordinates match the exact location where Riker met Portal 63. Unlike Riker's team, we beam down without a problem. It's quiet. Portal has to know we're here. If he won't come to us, we'll go to him. Spread out. Already gave it a scan. Dead. Whole planet feels like it's been turned to stone. Doctor? Commander? Keeping an eye on those Duridium levels? Good. The last thing we need are your cells destabilizing on a hostile alien planet. This is where Portal 6-3 projected his image. He was guarding this bridge. That has to mean something. We'll move forward when you're ready, Commander. These crystals are dormant. Riker's report said they were glowing, that they served as energy collectors. It could be a good sign they're inactive. The Guardian of the Takan doesn't have his guard up. Follow me. Ends here. Is it me, or did that path just disappear? There was a path there a moment ago. There must be an explanation. Tetrametric pulses. Same energy as the other Takan technology. Well, most of the crystals appear dormant. What's different about this one? Readings indicate there's a cavity in the rock right behind it. We could try melting a hole through the wall with our phasers. Worth a try. Nothing. There's gotta be a weakness. Somewhere it isn't totally solid. An illusion. I'm sure that wall was as real as the rest of them. I felt it. It's almost like our holodeck technology, but far more advanced. The crystals must be absorbing the energy from our phasers. I'm picking up something. A biosignature. It's faint, but it's there. With me. Another dead end. Or another illusion. Crewman LaRue, if you would. <laughs> Devolve to Resolute. Beam Crewman LaRue directly to medical. Is he okay? Yeah. He'll live. Not all crystals work the same, it seems. Don't fire your phasers at any crystals unless we're sure they're putting out the same pulses as before. I wonder if this place was always so lifeless.
Tetrametric. Good sign. Commander! Look at that. Trust, but verify. Indeed. We don't have any data about what's below the surface on Delphi Ardu 4. And I don't feel a particularly strong urge to find out. Then that makes two of us. Good. Way's clear. Good work, Commander. We'll make sure it's safe. here are actually alive. Is this the biosignature you detected, Doctor? No. Not a match. Tetrametric. Then it's creating an illusion as well. Based on the data we have so far, 
Only one thing left to do. Doctor, be ready to beam us out if it turns out we're wrong. Duval to Resident. Lock transporter on a way team. like this in any Federation record. The plants. Barbarians. It's him. How dare you disturb me? I'd hoped you had enough sense to leave your own accord, but here you stand. <laughs> Fools. In another time, I would have destroyed you and your ship simply for setting foot in this place. Fortunately for you, that time has passed. Portal 6-3, guardian of the Takan Empire. We've come a long way to meet you. Guardian? I am guardian of nothing. The Takan no longer exist. Don't care to be reminded. If this is why you've come, then you should leave. Now. I'm surprised you don't know. With your powers, can't you learn anything? I can. But you should mind your words. The Resolute's database is being accessed. The Takan? have returned after so long how could they explain now taconian technology made it possible to enable the transfer of consciousness from one being to another after physical death they call it bioforming a group of taconians calling themselves scions of the flame used it to reawaken after hundreds of millennia scions of the flame is something wrong I'd hardly call them Takan. They were a radical faction with beliefs outside the mainstream. Beliefs that lesser life forms should serve as vessels to ensure Takan immortality. You want me to help you destroy them? That's why you've come. You want to destroy these scions. You don't have to do anything except help us find them. If that's all you want to do. <laughs> I don't believe that. They have an incredibly powerful energy source they call the Cartabula. These scions have the Cartabula. And they've used it as a weapon against us. I will speak with you alone. What are you doing? Where's my team? They are safe where we left them. That the Scions have stolen the Cartabula is deeply concerning. And to be honest, I'd rather speak with you alone, John Ryadek. Your colleagues don't know what it means to be the last of one's kind. You and I are remnants of fallen civilizations. The Kobliad, the Takan. One dying, one dead. Our species could not be more different, but we both know the meaning of loss. The others wouldn't understand. It's beyond their ability to comprehend. I see you're hurting. And I understand your pain. But pain shouldn't stop us from moving forward. You do not understand me, nor the pain I feel for the loss of our once glorious empire.
Tell me, why spend your days away from your own people when so few of them are left? Why live your life working for this federation to which the Coplia do not even belong? And submit yourself to their authority? It makes no sense. Not by my logic. It's true, the Koblia chose not to join the Federation when the offer was made. And I could have chosen to stay on my home planet, waiting for the next shipment of Deridium to arrive, biding my time and fearing for the worst. Instead, I chose to embrace the future, not fear it. Joining Starfleet gave me the opportunity not just to help my own people, but countless more. You told Riker you'd wait until you were needed. You're needed now. We need you. As much as it pains me to learn the Cartabula has fallen into the hands of the Scions, my services are not up for offer. To be chosen as a portal was to give one's entire self to the cause of protecting the Dakon Empire. I left behind everything I know, and now you want me to turn against my own people. The betrayal of my oath, and everything I vowed to protect. Every Dakon that comes back does so by stealing someone's body. They are killing to come back. What you call bioforming we thought of as a marginal science. But if these reborn to con plan to restore the Empire, is that a disaster to be avoided? Taconian technology is so advanced, it could save millions of species currently on the brink of extinction, including your own. And at the price of a small few, think of how the many could benefit. Instead, it sounds as if you are reacting out of fear before you have a full understanding of what's at stake. I don't think you've given this full consideration. You may have more to gain than to lose. You told me your people didn't use bioforming. That's because you knew it was wrong. Wrong to employ on an individual basis, and surely wrong on a galactic scale. You are correct. The Dakon did not use bioforming on a large scale. That the way these signs are using it would not have been accepted when the Empire still stood. I'm curious to see these signs masquerading as true Dakon. So I will go with you, and we shall find them. But when we do, I will judge them myself as a guardian of the Takon, to understand their true intentions, for better or worse. It's certainly your right to make your own decisions. I won't tell you otherwise. Very well. I'll return. Commander! Hold your fire. I'm all right. He's coming with us. We assume the worst. He's perfectly fine. Now then, shall we? All right. We can beam up your... Do you have any equipment or tools? Plus one, ready to beam up.
four warp cores. That's interesting. Redundancy. If one goes down in battle, we can still operate. Makes this more difficult, though. This ship can maintain warp with half the cores offline. We'll need to disable three of them. Where are the engine schematics? Power flow routing charts. We're soldiers, not engineers. I thought you would know what to do. We understand how to operate it under normal conditions, but not the intricacies. All that talk about being soldiers, and look what it comes down to. You need a couple of engineers. Yes, we do. Lucky for you, that's our specialty. You at least know where we should start? This way. we do, we need to make sure the Takan can't undo it. So we need a way to permanently disable the reactors that won't destroy the ship and kill us all in the process. You thinking what I'm thinking? Warp, Warp core ejection. ejection. So the question is, how do we make it happen? The safety protocols don't look much different from the Resolute. Breach protection. Reduce output, command override. Cease matter, antimatter flow, command override. Emergency warp core ejection. Computer control. Even command functions can't override one of the most crucial safety measures. So the protocol's still active. That's good. Like we saw on the bridge, all four warp cores are operating at full capacity. The reactor coolant system is operating at emergency containment levels. It's just barely keeping the temperature in check. Maybe we can use that. If it gets this high, their system considers a reactor breach imminent. Looks like if sensors show a core is about to rupture, the computer will eject it automatically rather than risk a breach. So we need to increase the warp core's temperatures. If we destroy the coolant regulators, there won't be anything to keep these reactors from going over. And it will trigger the ejection. Let's peel these suckers open. I'll take that one. Take the one next to it. The second you two start dumping cores, the Takan will know we're here. We'll be vulnerable. Stuck in one place while you work. We will have to make a stand. Do whatever you have to do to make sure we have the time to finish. Anything? Anything. We'll barricade the door. Work quickly. tools, but our phasers can do this in a pinch. We better get this right. If we foul it up and this whole thing goes boom, I don't know how much damage that Cartagula will do. There goes the galaxy. Could be that bad. We'll get it right. 
It's not a Starfleet warp core, but the coolant regulator has to be in here somewhere. Parade grounds of Sorelli, my friend. You too. 
calm yourself, child. something I can do for Itasca, and I shall. There's so much I want to ask you. There's so little I can tell you. I'm a portal, not a scientist, but I'll certainly do my best. I can only assume this is one of your older starships. One would think, given the importance of your mission, they might send a ship of a more recent vintage. But, uh, <clears throat> apparently not. The Resolute is primarily a research vessel, if that's what you mean. Not a warship. Although, she has been known to hold her own in a fight. Against what? Something wrong? Not at all. The galaxy has grown more diverse since the days of the Takan Empire. Because you conquered everyone who didn't look like you. To the contrary. Most lesser civilizations willingly join the Empire to enjoy the benefits of an advanced way of life. But that expansion came with its own set of problems, so... I admire your ability to diversify without creating conflict. That was always our challenge. And perhaps... ultimately our downfall. I think that's the first time you've said something nice about the Federation. And it may just be the last. If this is the best you have, then so be it. To locate this scion, Galvan, I'll need full access to your ship's systems. Full access? Huh. You must be out of your mind. No, I'm right here. Completely in my mind. Given this is merely a research ship, I won't be able to find him without it. Perhaps I should have made that clear up front. I'll need to make certain modifications. That shouldn't be a problem. Excellent. Solano's gonna flip when he hears this. I'll see you on the bridge. Captain Solano, I'd like to introduce you to Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Likewise. I can't say I've ever met a portal before. There is no modern equivalent. Not within the Federation, at least. I've learned it's a very prestigious position in Takan society. Or was, I suppose. Not just anyone is selected for the role. And fewer still are suited for it. How impressive. You spent 600,000 years at your posts. That certainly takes an uncommon level of dedication. We all have our duty. Of course. 
But I'm curious. You were stationed there in preparation for what, exactly? Any and all threats to the Empire. An empire that no longer exists, which suggests you weren't very successful. You said you needed my help. I didn't come here to be insulted. Perhaps that was a mistake. I'd be happy to return to Delphi Ardu at any time. Of course, the fall of the Empire had nothing to do with you. We know that. Do you? Because it seems your captain has a different opinion. I'm merely curious where your allegiances might lie. And clearly it's with the Takan. Yes, Captain. You have found me out and exposed my true loyalties to the Takan, not to the Scions of the Flame, who do nothing more than tarnish us in name and reputation and don't deserve to be called Takan. That's why I'm here. And if you'd be so kind as to give me access to your ship's systems, we can get on with it. And you can stop wasting my time. Access to our systems? That's completely out of the question. Tell me that's not what you promised. We're vulnerable enough as it is. And now we're supposed to give him access to everything? Ridiculous. Captain, I understand your concern, and I don't necessarily disagree. Odd. You told me you didn't think it would be a problem. Little did you realize the levels of ignorance and incompetence you were up against. If you're not enjoying your visit to our ship, we'd be more than happy to let you wither away back on your pathetic little rock. Captain? You clearly do not appreciate the magnitude of the threat the science pose. So myopic is your focus on your own ego. I will not be leaving until they have been found. Commander Rydek, a word. And to think, I waited 600,000 years for this. You realize this puts me in an incredibly difficult position. I was against seeking him out from the start, but now, to give him access to our systems? It's insane! you somehow expect me to believe his allegiance is with us? You heard what he said in there. There's no way we can trust him. I might otherwise agree, but you're missing the most important point. He's a Takan, and he may be loyal to the Takan, but not to the Scions of the Flame. He's against everything they believe in. You heard what he said. There's too much at stake to be wrong on this. We sought him out for a reason to help him find our missing crew, Galvin, and those Elidian ships. This is the plan we agreed to with Ambassador Spock. Which I never liked. But here we are. You know what this mission means to us. Not just for the Federation, but for me personally. I can't afford another screw-up. Losing the shield algorithms was bad enough. This... This could be the end of my career. I'm sorry, Captain. You know I support you, but millions of lives in the future of the Federation are at stake here. Both of which are more important right now than your career. It's not just mine. It's both of ours. Then so be it. I'm going to trust your instincts on this one. I just hope you're right. For both of our sakes. Let me know if you find anything. We're good. You may begin. I will, of course, have to make a few modifications. What kind of modifications? To find Taconian technology requires Taconian technology. If this Cyan Galavan modified his ships, then I must do likewise to yours. The galaxy is nearly infinite in size and complexity. This may take a moment. How long I will found it something. There you are. What is it? Galvin? Someone is using Taconian technology. I can't get the precise bearings, but it's located in the Palisades cluster. I'll let the captain know.
Right Rydic to Solano. I think Portal may have located Galvin. I'll be right there. I'm getting all kinds of interference. Almost impossible to lock on the energy signature. Where's he hiding? In the Palisades cluster. Interesting. Can you lock in on the location? Not until you get me closer. Lieutenant Handar, set a course for the Palisades Cluster. Aye, Captain. Well, I suppose I owe you an apology. You were right after all. That's what I get for questioning the advice of my first officer. You always have my back. No apology necessary. Your concerns were valid. Nonetheless, I should learn to trust your instincts, which were absolutely right. Nice work. Let me know if you find anything more. Will do. What's wrong? I didn't want to say anything until I was certain. But the reason for the interference is simple. There's a Taconian device on this ship being used to block the signal. Whoever planted it was exceptionally clever. They knew how and where to hide it. But they have underestimated my abilities. Engineering. Take care of the Taconian device, and I can find Galvan for you. It's designed to interfere with all transmissions, or at least delay and confuse the effort to find Galvan's ship. Hold on. My understanding is that Takan technology requires a Takan to operate. Is there another Takan on this ship? The science could have someone on the ship doing everything they can to stop us from finding Galvan. Don't worry, I'll get this fixed. We're going to find that ship. Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder. Hmm, there's a lot of noise in here. I should scan the device putting out the most radiation to filter it out. That's better. Most other radiation sources in here are well contained. There's definitely tetrametric radiation nearby. But even with the gain boosted, it's getting drowned out by other sources of radiation in here. Jeffrey's tubes thump harmonics from all over the ship. I'll filter that out. There we go. I'm getting a clear tetrametric signal now. here? Commander Rydek. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it was you. Paul. Calloway, right? Yes. I... You know, it means a lot that you remembered. What, uh, are you doing back here? I, I don't mean to pry, but first officers don't usually go digging around engineering compartments. I was looking for you. Uh, under the console? Dropped my tricorder. But I do need your help. Have you seen anyone else in here recently that might seem out of the ordinary? Maybe someone who doesn't work in engineering. Not that I can think of, but I can ask around. I'm here almost all the time, but maybe someone else noticed something? That would be great. Just be discreet about it. I don't want anyone to be alarmed. Discretion is my specialty. Well, I'll leave you alone already. Oh, come to think of it, that Hotari woman was down here earlier with Dr. Duvall finishing the last of the bioscans. Tylus? That would be out of the ordinary, right? Thank you.
Maybe Tylus saw something. Tylus, can I speak to you for a moment? Of course. Is something wrong? There's something happening. I may need your help. This is important. How can I help? When you were in engineering with Dr. Duval, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Or anyone? Not particularly. Why? I found this, hidden in a compartment down there. That's Taconian technology. Does that mean there's a Scion on board? But Dr. Duval bioscanned everyone. Every deck, every crew member, I've seen the logs. She couldn't have been more thorough. Someone evaded detection and planted that device. Which would mean they've been with us this whole time. Watching, listening. All the more reason why we have to find them. It could be anyone. That includes both of us. You want me to get scanned? Better to know for sure, right? I'll admit, I was around the Scions as much as anybody. You don't have to do that. I trust you. If it makes you feel any better, it's not me. I promise you. I know. But that doesn't mean it's not you. Okay. Clear. Don't sound so surprised. You spend plenty of time with the Scions as well. You never know. Let's get to it. The search starts in engineering. Whoever planted the device most likely did it within the last few hours. So I'll start by running a scan, tracking everyone who came through engineering over the last day, in reverse order. This could take forever to sort through the number of people that were in engineering. Cross-referencing this list with everyone who's traveled to Hotari. Mm, that helps. I'll filter out the duplicates. Now this is manageable. Filtering for outliers. People who don't work in engineering. Let's see who's left. No. This can't be right. What? Of the people that went to Hotari and visited engineering, it could only have been... Captain Solano. According to this, he was here while you went down to Delphi R4. Which would have been the perfect opportunity. And no one would question him. He's the captain. He fits the profile for the kind of people the Takan want to bioform. People with authority that can lead to them gaining more control. Like Galvin? The Queen? The captain of a Federation starship. What happened when Dr. Duval bioscanned Captain Solano? That's just it. She never did. How is that possible? Something more urgent would always come up. There was nothing she could do. But performing a bioscan is the only way to be absolutely sure. That's not going to be easy. First thing I need to do is get this device to Portal. Be careful. And good luck. I'll need it. I found the device. Deference is gone. I have located Galvin's ship more precisely. He's in the Usonia system. So then it worked. This whole region was one of the most sacred for the ancient Takan. What many consider the birthplace of our civilization. See these comets and planetoids in the outer orbits? Based on their current trajectory, that's Galvin's destination. And legend tells us it's the location of what was once our largest arsenal. Not that we needed it in the late stages of the Empire, but it was there as a precaution nonetheless. 
What kind of weapons are in this arsenal? Uh, it's difficult to know what would have survived from the time of the Empire. But be assured that the damage they have done so far by altering your current technology will be minuscule compared to proper Draconian firepower. If Galvin and the other science secure the arsenal, they will become extremely dangerous. My people had such power at the height of the Empire. The Dakon were as gods, keeping absolute control over countless worlds. I must speak with them directly. However, the presence of this device is worrying. It's highly likely it was placed here by a scion hidden among your crew. And it is unlikely this interference device was the Scion Saboteur's only trap. If we reach Galvan and the Saboteur cripples your ship, we will be at their mercy. Even my powers will not be able to protect us. Do you know who it is? They may well do more damage if left alone. Time is not on your side. I'm fairly convinced they bioformed Captain Solano. I knew there was a reason I didn't like him. That explains it. Bioforming was so rare in the time of the Empire that I am not able to detect if it has taken place. Proof of your claim is something you will have to produce yourself. Then we have to bioscan him. I'll talk to Dr. Duvall. That's quite the claim. You told me you were worried about him, but I never imagined this was what was wrong. I wouldn't be asking you if there was any other possibility. I would explain why Solano has been too busy for a bioscan lately. As the ship's doctor, you have the authority to declare him unfit to serve. If you're right, this is the worst case scenario. Challenging your own captain is a tall order. Are you sure you're prepared for this? If you fail, that's it. The end of your career. Maybe your life. I am. I have to be. Good. You know what this is going to take. I'm in. But we can't pull this off with just the two of us. I technically have the authority to make Solano undergo a scan, but in reality, he can and will refuse to do it. We need at least another member of the senior staff to support your claim. Or this could all blow up in our faces. Uh, you better think long and hard about who you can trust. <laughs>